Burn away, Tubalone, uh, if I'm pronouncing the name right. Thanks for being my 10th follower, and thanks for staying around Tonight, after all this Yukiko disconnection issues of another. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. Oh boy. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. What? Being some weird shit on TV. Hey, did you see that? Sure did. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her. I mean, she even said her name. Uh, you do you. My recommendation is mostly so next time you start playing, you can actually play and don't have to go through any more story. Yeah, I get you. So, play to the point when the open world opens. I get you. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. I've been having so many issues the last, like, couple minutes. Stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. What's going on? Uh... All good. You decided to go to bed early. Oh, good morning. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If if you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yusuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Dude, I feel so bad for this little girl. Uh... Weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Yeah, I feel so bad for her. But we can't exactly bring her along. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Well, we shouldn't be. Yeah. We've got our personas, <laughs> but a golf club's not that reliable. Well, the look, that girl just gave in the background, like. What the fuck? <laughs> so, which one strikes your fancy? Uh. Hmm. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me, wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this. <laughs> He's doing like all of this. this in public. What about this? My God. Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. <laughs> requesting immediate backup. <laughs> No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot! Jesus! I thought you were too smart! Oh, I gave him way too much props. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. <sighs> oh. 
You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Now this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. What happens to the Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. <laughs> I take it back. I forgot about this scene. You <laughs> say Kate doesn't deserve a brain cell. You're free to go. But this better not happen. I don't think again. he's got any, honestly. After that, Jesus, dude. I was giving him way too much props. He, he, he is just another Ryuji. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, Shit. she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Makes sense. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. I don't really trust him. I know, it, I think they're playing him off as one of those characters that you mentioned, like, oh, great, he's just another teammate. Is he no? Is he no? Or is he just hey, another Akechi? Does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Sheesh, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her Sal, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Yeah. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They're both too agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right, that's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going too. And that's final. I'm gonna save Yukiko no matter what. Oh, my internet went down then. Just stumbled. Are you gonna be alright? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty handed. Weapons? 
I know just the place. You do? Come on, follow me. Interesting. Why are we concerned about this place? <laughs> Why do you know about this place? Here we are. What kind of shop is this? A metalwork site, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Yeah, I asked that before. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many Funky kung movies, fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Why didn't they know about it? Oh, here. This one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! He's just an Ellison's and it's like... I don't wanna... I don't... I don't am I gonna be complacent in something? What's going on? You don't know shit about how I feel! You can kill my die from this for crying out loud! I'm going, and that's that! Okay, but stay behind us. I'll be fine! My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. Alright. So how long is this prologue? Because this has got to be the longest prologue of, like, the three games i played. Because I haven't played Persona 1 or 2. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. See, 5,000 yen. Okay. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. So we'd have to wait. We'd have to wear lightweight armor and so on. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, Persona 4's intro is way too long. I'm I'm not too bothered by it, honestly, but I do understand. All right, let's split up and get ready. It must be really annoying when you're doing New Game Plus. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you're free tomorrow, 4:18. Okay, fair enough. At least we're near the again. The store will then. be crowded until the afternoon sale ends. And if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. I am looking forward to exploring the open world as well. Or maybe for- yeah, it's fine, either way. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Just need to figure out what armor and stuff is going to be best. Have you come to look at my art? Please, look around. Take your time. He's probably got a completely different voice. But, you know. Uh, it's okay. uh, I wanted to be smart and not just buy weapons, but uh, just I didn't couldn't figure out if I wanted endurance or not, so I just went with the weapon instead. At least we can do more damage now. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems love is can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time, The velvet key in your pocket is shining.
We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Okay. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Just like from Persona 3 and 5. In other words, is the fusion, fusion of, of personas. personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. Yeah. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. Yeah. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would... Oh. Stop paying attention for one second. And I click X. Or in this case, A. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Okay. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. 